Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing uh, briefly about uh, celiac disease. A celiac disease is also known as celiac sprue or it is also known as gluten sensitive enteropathy. Celiac disease has worldwide prevalence uh, with uh, endemicity seen in certain areas and more commonly seen in genetically predisposed individuals. Coming to the pathogenesis, the pathogenesis lies in hypersensitivity to gliding fraction of gluten. So this compound, uh, this uh, product gluten is sourced from cereals like wheat, barley and rye and this uh, gliding of the gluten when it gets released it causes proliferation of CD8 T cells. Striking association with HLA, DQ2 and DQ8 is found and association with uh, diabetes, Sogren syndrome, thyroiditis is also seen. The diagnostic features are the diagnostic features are commonly seen in the second part of duodenum and duodenum. Crypt hyperplasia with marked loss of villi uh, and it can be up to severe villus atrophy. Intraepithelial lymphocytosis is also being seen, though these are not specific features but quite sensitive. Loss of breast border or microvilli leads to malabsorption. Certain serological antibodies are characteristic like IgA antibodies to tissue transglutaminase and also against endomycium. Now in this uh, image, uh, this is the normal image. Uh, in which the gluten, uh, in which uh, the villi and crypt are intact. On the right side, if you see, the villi is uh, completely being lost and there is dense uh, lymphocytosis, lymphoplasma cytosis. Uh, so this arrow depicts a dense inflammatory infiltrate and uh, coming to this arrow, this re represents the loss of villi. The clinical features, the common clinical features, uh, so as uh, seen in all other autoimmune disease, here also it is more common in females, generally of 30 to 60 year of age. Chronic diarrhea, blotting and uh, fatigue are the common features. Anemia being more common in uh, reproductive age group. And uh, dermatitis uh, herpetiformis is strongly being associated with this, uh, these patients. Pediatric uh, patients commonly present as diarrhea, muscle wasting and often severe disease leads to failure to thrive. Coming to the complications, the common complications that are being observed in various studies are entropathy associated T cell lymphoma. Small intestinal adenocarcinoma may also be associated and some other uh, studies also have revealed that uh, there is female infertility and also osteoporosis being linked to celiac disease. Now coming to the treatment part, a strict uh, gluten free di diet is the only way uh, to avoid uh, celiac disease and its complication. Uh, generally adherence to the uh, gluten free diet leads to normal histology and antibody titer uh, within uh, six, to, 6 months to 2 years of time. 